You just can't let grass grow under your feet if your job is keeping to the pitch of perfection the most famous stretches of turf that exist in this country, world-renowned for lawns that are perfectly clipped and rolled. Work's never done on these particular lawns, the lawn tennis courts at Wimbledon, tennis capital of the world. But perfection is the prerequisite here, where even the tennis balls are made to measure and changed after every nine games or less. The 16,000 balls made every year for the Wimbledon tournaments begin their life as rubber pellets in a Yorkshire factory. The pellets are fed into moulds in a high temperature press where they're squeezed and vulcanised, each of them forming the inner core of half a tennis ball. They come out looking like those oven trays you bake scones in. They might be making packing cases for eggs at this stage, but now see the clever stuff that gives them their precise factory fresh bounciness. A moistened chemical pill goes into every tennis ball, which gives off a gas when the halves are sealed together at 300 degrees Fahrenheit, which gives an inside pressure of 15 pounds. However did they manage to get a game of tennis before the scientists dreamed up such a process? They've got to be check weighed most carefully before they're fitted with those two-piece outer coverings called figure eights that look like inner soles for fireside shoes. And those scientists used to say it was impossible making something round out of something flat. Not too little, not too much. Miss a smash hit at Wimbledon and you can't say the ball was the wrong size. It's tested meticulously for bounce and compressibility before it's passed for its short life on the sacred turf. And these are the lucky lads who'll have the handling of the precious tennis balls and a ringside seat on their haunches at the next Wimbledon Championships. 69 boys from Dr. Bernardo's homes are picked as ball boys every year for the world's greatest tennis tournament. When they can roll the balls back accurately at ground level, they spend months practicing the knack of bouncing them back to the server and catching them with their school chaplain to instruct. Even umpiring is part of the curriculum so that the boys know what the game's about by the time they qualify for an enviable place, perhaps on the centre court. Practice makes perfect and for Wimbledon the preparations couldn't be more punctilious. Then what happens? A lot of ladies forget the tennis and turn the whole thing into a fashion show. This sort of thing plays the deuce with your figure, but oh well, Wimbledon comes but once a year, and 15, 30, 40 are the only vital statistics that count. <laughs>